guys. Another AR mod on the Parrot AR drone here. This is the AR drone bearing upgrade. I want you to get an idea of just how tiny these bearings are. Here's my finger that covers all eight bearings. Okay, the AR drone has bushings underneath this gear. Once you pop off this circlip, pull the propeller off, pull the gear off, there's a shaft. You pull the shaft out, you poke out the little brass bushings, and you put in these bearings, you get four times more motor life. You also get less rolling, less spinning resistance, so you you don't use as much battery. It's a really good mod. And what I would suggest is if you do do this and you have an old drone, this has seen a lot of flight time, go ahead and get the AR drone kit here that has the gears and the shafts so that you can have brand new shafts to go with your brand new bearings. Because I'll show you, these shafts are pretty warm. So here's the instruction sheet that I uh, got sent along, so you guys can pause this and uh, read it if you want. Okay, I just want to show you how you go about changing out the bushings with real bearings. Sealed on the bottom and open on the top type bearings. Circlips can be a pain. I just use screwdriver because I don't want to spend 20 bucks on a tool. From Parrot to it, right? New blades, new gears. The shaft is old, bearings are old. If you examine this shaft, okay, you can see that it's worn, and if you feel it, it's rough. It's rough where it's been rubbing there. There's different ways to get these out. I like to just pop them out this way. And do the same thing on the bottom. Pardon me while I get out of frame here for a second. Okay, just pop that out. Okay, now we're back in frame again. Good. Okay, here are the little bearings. They're lovely, tiny little bearings. This is from Era Drone Global Warehouse. You can find them on eBay. And this is the new shaft. So I'm just going ahead, putting the open end of the bearing up, okay, into the housing. Make sure it's pressed in there. Good job. This will help guide this one back down perfectly into place. Okay, and that's in. Done. Put this back on. Really, it's really pretty simple stuff, guys. But I thought I'd show it to you anyway. It's a little upgrade that you can do to your uh, AR drone. And then reinserting the circlip. The only trick i found to inserting the circlip is that the shaft sticks up a little high. So if you can't get the circlip to go right on at first, just lower the shaft a tiny bit and it may start to get on there. Or you can raise the prop a little bit, one way or the other. Got to make it so it hits the little groove. That can be, a, can be a bit of a challenge, but it does snap some. And now you have less rolling resistance. Okay, A lot less rolling resistance than with the, uh, the bearing here and back and stuff. So here's the old part. Okay, slightly worn shaft, perfectly good really, you could keep using this forever, probably, no problem. But with the, the bearing, there's a lot less rolling resistance. So now these all have uh, just installed eight bearings basically, and all the way around, and it's a beautiful thing. And so that's a, uh, an AR mod that you can do that doesn't cost too much money. I'll put the links to the uh, parts and the information down below. And this is also a good test for me with my new contacts because contacts or nearsighted people make close work very, very difficult. And you think, oh, great, contacts, you don't have to wear glasses anymore. Uh, actually, you do. <laughs> and now I really look like an old fart, right? <laughs>